Uh, today we're reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, a portion of verse number 10. Uh, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. What scripture is it? 1 Corinthians 15, a portion of verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace was not bestowed upon... Nope. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Out of my utmost to his highest, the way we continually talk about our own inability as an insult to the Creator. I believe that's true. How often do we talk ourselves up? <coughs> I've known a few people that do that, but mostly not. <clears throat> mostly not. And we always talk ourselves down, don't we? How we can't do this or that, or how um, we're not able to do whatever because of this or that. The deploring of our own incompleteness is a slander against God for having overlooked us. Get into the habit of examining in the sight of God the things that sound humble before men, and you will be amazed at how staggering and pertinent they are. Oh, I should like to say I am sanctified. I'm not a saint. Say that before God, and it means, Lord, uh, and it means, no, Lord. It is impossible for you to save and sanctify me. There are chances I have not had. So many imperfections in my brain and body. No, Lord, it isn't possible. That may sound, wonderf uh, that may sound wonderfully humble before men, but before God, it is an attitude of defiance. Again, the things that sound humble before God may sound the opposite before men. To say, thank God, I know I am saved and sanctified, is in the sight of God the acme of humility. It means you have so completely abandoned yourself to God that you know he is true. Never bother your head as to whether what you say sounds humble before men or not, but always be humble before God and let him be all in all. There is only one relationship that matters, and that is your personal relationship to a personal Redeemer and Lord. Let everything else go, but maintain that at all cost, and God will fulfill his purpose through your life. One individual life may be of priceless value to God's purpose, and yours may be that life. Again, how often do we lift ourselves up and stuff? Um, you know, in the in the correct way. You know, yeah, we know. We all hear puffed up people and stuff, and that's obviously not what. Uh, Oswald Chambers is talking about. I, you know, yeah. and I, I, I do believe, I never realized this, I mean, I didn't realize this for years, how connected this stuff was. We've talked about how you can speak things into existence, and we've believed that for years, mm -hmm. but I kept it narrowed. I didn't realize that when I speak negatively um, of myself, then I am actually, I'm playing into the enemy's hands, I'm Right. I'm putting that imagery in my brain um, of what I can't do, and even through Christ, what I can't do, even through Christ, when He calls me to do something, because I've already got the negative view of myself. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's, it's not being positive in that aspect, is not. Uh, name it and claim it. It's not talking into something into existence that isn't possible. Obviously, you know, if you're not a brain surgeon, you're not a brain surgeon. Yeah, right. right but right. there are so many what would be considered minor things that God calls us to do 
have that we say, well, you know, I'm not bold enough for that. I don't have, I'm not able to articulate that. I, right. you know, I can't, can't do this. I can't do that. So obviously that's not what God's asking me to do. But if it's continually impressed within you, then oftentimes that is something God yeah. is saying, I want you to try that. You have got to get beyond yourself and look mm-hmm. at me. Didn't yeah, Joshua say, say he couldn't lead the Israelites? Joshua or Moses, which one? Moses, Moses yeah. Thank you. you know, he he defeated himself before he even got started. Given us that, that the and defeatist I, I attitude. Yeah, yeah it is. It's yeah. easier for yeah. us because then we don't have to put forth effort. We don't have to. Uh, we don't have to foolish. go through the, the effort and, and f- possibly fail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, we can. Uh, but what is house faith spelt? R I S K. Thank you. R I S K. That spells. Mama, just how is faith spelled? This is. But R I S K is risk. So, you know, I, I believe we. You know, we we need to get into the habit of looking at ourselves like God looks at us. You know, if we were not, and I don't mean just us personally, but if if we weren't of value to God, you know, um, then what good would we be? You know, we are we are valuable to Him. We are so valuable that what He do for us. He did. He did indeed. So that tells me that we are worth a great price to him. And we do do him an injustice when we think lowly of ourselves. Not that, not that we're supposed to think how uh, handsome we are or how beautiful we are or how talented we are. Um, but if we are gifted and um, you know musically or, or or whatever I mean we're all gifted somehow or another um, we should use that for his honor and his glory mm-hmm. and not not try to puff ourselves up or or to get others to puff us up or, or anything like that but just you know we are a child of God and we should look at ourselves like that not pridefully or, or, or anything like that but just you know we are a child of God and he loves us Amen. You know? mm-hmm. so, so beating ourselves up that ain't no good that accomplishes nothing for God hard habit to break it is so how are we going to look at ourselves the way God looks at us mm-hmm. all right we done I don't know are yeah. we done that's well, kind of short for us, but we'll be done. All right. Zub, would you like to pray for us this morning? Okay. Okay. Um, Lord, thank you for allowing us to do, to do devotion today. Thank you, Lord. And, um, Lord, please help us to not put ourselves down, not, not talk ourselves down, or to talk ourselves up in the wrong way. Just uh, help help us to look at ourselves like you look at us. And thank you for dying on a cross and three days later rising from the dead. Yes. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.